I can't imagine someday that, you know, our grandchildren won't even know what a blueback is, what the sockeye is, the, the fish that Quinault has been known for, for forever. I think it's definitely climate change because uh, what happened with the uh, sockeye and their spawning grounds, there's not even no glacier up there anymore. And that's what, from all the warm weather, the glacier's not building up and the water's not as cold for them to go up and spawn and survive. I mean, it's everything around us that's changing, that's just can't sustain the life that, you know, I grew up with here on the Quinault Reservation. And there are some days where I literally cry. I cry coming to work or I cry leaving because of the news that I, you know, hear about or what I've witnessed. Um, it's, I, I think that happens when you're really connected to your, your community, your surrounding, um, those things. We can't, we can't ignore it. When we're a community and a, a people that depend on those things, um, yeah, we can go to the grocery store, and we do, but the things that are our, 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 our identity are the things that we see leaving this earth, and, and that is the reason I cry. It's not just losing our people, but it's losing all those other things that make us who we are. I can't imagine someday that, you know, our grandchildren won't even know what a blueback is, what the sockeye is, the, the fish that Quinault has been known for, for forever. And uh, so here we are, another season that's canceled because there's just not the resource that we, we normally would have had. Um, a lot of it's related to what's going on in our environment. Um, it, it's really sad. <laughs>